be okay? What do I need in order for me to be okay? Me to be okay? You know, I mean, the, 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 the real things like, you know, I mean, obviously you need to make sure that you've got money to take care of the kids. So there's the practical stuff. But there is also that it's important that you stay very centered. So the friends that you have right now that are, that are really there for you, I think it's really important that you, you get sort of like surrounded with cotton wool in some ways, you know, with your friends so that you can, um, you know, so that you can feel really comfortable and secure. I think eventually this is going to lead to divorce. What cards are you uh, seeing over there? What, what did you pull out? Okay, up? well, first of all, the Eight of Swords is the interference card. So something is interfering with your relationship. There's some kind of, yeah, something or someone. Um, I've also got this card, which is called, see, I took my glasses off. Now I need to put them back on. I'm so <laughs> vain, aren't I? Gosh, I'm so vain. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, because he's videoing me, and there I am taking my glasses oh, off so because I'm vain. You, you, think know? You, do, you think you do some of that hair, though, if you really... I just like a headset on. What are you supposed to do with that? Because I focus on Stacey. Sorry, sorry. deeply about her. Yes, um, so she has the Eight of Cups, and this is a stagnant marriage. This is a stagnant relationship, one that is not going in a good direction and then followed by the cruelty card, which is obviously what he's doing to her, because it's very cruel uh, to leave your wife with you know, four children. Um, you have the tools and resources that you need. I would absolutely... Heck yeah, because you're the bomb. I would absolutely suggest that, um, that you do some kind of therapy. It's for you, not for him. Good, good, good. Um, because you... I would like to see him come crawling back to you, to well, be honest. Well, what's the problem? Have we, uh, do, you, do we have a problem? What, what happened? Another woman? Another woman? That's not complicated. It's just, that's a simple fact. It's another woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you deserve better. But see, the problem is here, Stacey, you've got your Venus in Cancer. You'll never trust him again. Anybody who, ha anybody who has cancer, Venus in Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, when the trust is taken away, really? you, can't, you can't get it back. It's weird that there are three planets that you cannot mess around with. Yeah. Well, and your moon is in Aquarius. Once you detach from somebody, you're gone. You're done. Hmm. Aquarius moons. Blake and I both have Aquarius moons. Oh. oh, yeah. When you're done with someone, you're done. Right. No I'm looking back. I'm done with you. <laughs> No, you'll never be done with me, honey, because I'm an Aquarius moon like you. So you can't be done with another Aquarius moon. You just work that way. But you can be done with your heart. You will. I mean, there'll be no way back. When you're done with this, it's too late for him. There'll be nothing that he can do to, to get back in. Yeah. Well, why don't you give me a call at 8... Oh, I need to give my toll-free number I live in Tucson. Give me a call at 419-5419. Uh, and let's talk about let's talk about this a little bit more. A little more in depth. Uh, than yeah. Just a couple minutes on the radio. Stacy, yeah. yeah. you are certainly in my heart. Yeah, yeah. Right. And you're going to be okay, Stacy, out of all this. I know it seems really bad right now, but uh, you know, give me a call and we'll talk about this. Okay. Okay. Again, the phone number four one nine five four one nine. If you want to talk to astrologer Don.